Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andreas, from Comore Sports here in Whistler, and today we're here to talk about the K2 Simple Pleasures. I had the pleasure of trying this thing out last season on a demo day, and uh, it was a very fun board for my style of riding. It's a great free ride inspired snowboard, and it definitely has some surf inspiration to it as well. You can see it's got that really big front shovel and the front shovel is obviously tapered and a little bit wider than the tail. That makes for a board that A, gives you very good natural float. So the board always wants to plane out of the snow and you get overall very good floatability out of a snowboard like this. And then that tail being a little bit narrower makes the board very easy to sort of pin around and arc a quick turn. The camber profile on this guy has a setback camber. So the board is definitely direct Directional, and the camber is farther back in the board, sort of in this section back here. The cambered portion of this board makes the board feel very lively and energetic. You get a lot of rebound, you get a lot of response out of this board. I myself took it through a tree run. The second I got into the trees, I noticed that it was super nimble. It was really quick and easy to arc around on. This board also has a volume reduction story to it. So it's designed to be ridden about five to seven centimeters shorter than you would buy a normal snowboard. And that's because it's much wider overall. In the 156, it's a 27.1 waist. The Sport accelerates at carving on groomers because of its sort of pintail shape. It's very easy to arc around. It's very easy to cut a tight turn. It's in the mid sort of sevens as far as a turning radius is concerned. So about a 7.4 turning meter radius on the smaller one and a 7.7 .7 on the bigger. That tight turning radius makes for a board that feels very nimble, very quick turning, and also very maneuverable when you're on a track full of a lot of people. This board sort of has a surf inspired shape to it as well, so it's very easy to get those tight, nimble, quick turns when you're in trees. And you guys know that I love tree riding, so this is a perfect board for my style of riding, especially here in Whistler. It's a super fast base on this guy, and it does have a bit of base structure to it, which is great for holding wax and great for getting that speed on a flat spot. And it's their carbon-infused sintered base. So it's their sintered 5500 base, and there is a carbon additive in this base to make it extra fast and lightweight. So it definitely hauls, it accelerates nice and fast, it's very nimble feeling, great quick arcing turns. When I rode this thing, I took it through some trees and uh, there was maybe about 10 centimeters of fresh snow on otherwise hard crusty pack. And this guy was still very nimble, very quick turning. It was very energetic and responsive as well. So you could still load this thing and get a lot of power out of it. The Simple Pleasures is utilizing K2's Bamboo Ya Core. So it's a bamboo core and bamboo is naturally light and very responsive. So you can see this guy gets a lot of power when you spring into it. And I would say it's on the firmer side of medium, you know, maybe like a 5.5, six out of 10 flex. Good for holding up at speed, but also, you know, pliable enough that you still get that freestyle element out of the board. It's still very fun to ride. It's still a board that can press. You can still get an ollie out of this tail as well. You can see here in the tail, it's notched out slightly and that just helps the board to sink in the deeper stuff. It also makes for a great spot to put your hand when you're doing grabs. <laughs> K2 utilizes a feature called Tweak End, which is this idea that their tip and tail are just sort of gradually rockered up and you get a bigger surface area here for loading an ollie, for doing a manual or loading a press. That camber underfoot gives the board that lively, energetic, responsive feel that you would expect out of camber. Great for loading ollies, great for landing jumps, good for overall carvability when you're on the hill. And then that front rockered shovel is giving you flotation in the deeper snow, and it's also transitioning better over choppy stuff in that mashed potato-y snow that we sometimes get here in Whistler. It's still gonna rail a nice turn, holds a great edge because it is a wider category snowboard. You can really feel that bamboo core in this guy. It feels very springy, it feels very responsive, it really wants to load you back up. It really wants to spring you back up out of your last turn and rebound you around. So it's very energetic feeling. You get a lot of liveliness out of this board. Yeah, I would say that this board's a great daily driver for someone who's, you know, looking for that resort board that can handle powder but can also really rail a great turn on hard pack. And what's nice about it is it's volume reduced so that 
You can buy it a little bit shorter, and it feels super nimble and surfy when you take it into tighter areas like trees. The other nice thing about a wider board like this is that you can put bigger sizes on this snowboard as well. So if you're that 12 plus sort of boot size, you don't need to worry too much about toe overhang or heel overhang. It's naturally a wide board. that's about it. I really enjoyed riding the Simple Pleasures. I think it's a fantastic snowboard by K2. One of my favorite K2 snowboards and definitely one of my best of tests from last season. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, yeah, come on into Comore Sports Whistler to check out our awesome collection of snowboards. Alright, have a good one guys.